Awesome. So let's, uh, let's, let's go to those first few uh, days and weeks. And okay. um, first of all, just, you know, uh, take us there. You know, I mean, I know that, you know, in the movies there would be a war room and, you know, big uh, screens up on the wall. I know that in reality it was probably, you know, you guys sitting around your workstations and, you know. Um, so Niantic is a highly distributed engineering team. We actually live in three offices. Uh, so you're in your pajamas. It's like even less. Um, we're in our yeah, living room sitting on a mm-hmm. couch, um, a futon in my house. Um, we have... Uh, you know, we have some people, we had a couple people in Bellevue, we had one person in Sunnyvale, another person in San Francisco. Periodically, we'd come together in a single office to do these things. Um, at launch, though, we were, we were distributed, um, and we pretty much used Google Hangouts for all of our communication. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I sound, sounds familiar. Um, and so what were you seeing? So, you know, uh, you went live, Australia and New Zealand, uh, you know, th- sort of things go vertical almost uh, immediately. So then you launched in the U.S. not long after, correct? Yeah, it's about 12 hours later. Oh, okay, right. That's right. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, and so what happened then? <laughs> uh, the, the world kind of exploded. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had, we had uh, some pretty wild rides along the way. We had, we had some um, infrastructure problems. We had this, we, like I said, we, we went in, uh, we used Google Cloud for um, all of our infrastructure, and we went in with a a provisioning profile that said we would be not exceed 5x, so they gave us enough data store capacity and compute capacity in order to support that load. And then when we blew through it and and hit our quota on many, many occasions, every time we hit the quota, it brought us down. They had to bring in more resources to bring us back up. Um, thank goodness they were able to kind of bring that, uh, bring the resources into play probably within the first couple of, I think it was like three or four days after we launched the U.S. Um, but it, that was that was pretty trying. Um, and then there were software problems as well, just scaling up something that fast. You know, everybody says when you scale something 10x, you run into a whole new set of problems. Well, we did that twice, so it was it was pretty pretty <laughs> pretty 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 rough. So, were there things that? Um, so, let's see. A couple questions on this. Uh, number one: Is there anything that you care to share that uh, you think you should have done differently, or were these all problems where it's like, hey, this thing is 100 times more popular than you know our wildest dreams? You know, these are the sort of these are the sort of problems you're just going to run into. What could we have done differently? I think we could have spent a little more time understanding the, the performance characteristics of third-party software. Mm-hmm. Uh, we used a couple of open source libraries um, when we deployed this, and one of them has a really nasty distributed compute problem um, that we ran into every single day right around 2.30 in the afternoon. And we thought we'd fix the bottleneck, and at 2.30 in the afternoon, the whole system would fall off a cliff. Right, so East Coast gets off work, people start playing. Yeah, it's pretty much as soon as the East Coast people and San Francisco's tend to play all the time. Go figure. Um, <clears throat> they, um, they, uh, they, yeah, we, we kept falling off a cliff. And, and I just remember, it's like, it was a total nail-biter. You sit there and you watch. It's like, is it going to hit it today? And five minutes later, boom, yep. the system goes down. And so what was the solution there? Was it sort of ripping that out and putting something else in place? Was it you yeah, know, we throttling found, the developers? We found a rather esoteric comment about the performance characteristics of this library. Uh, we ripped it out, replaced it with uh, the standard Java library, and the problem went away. It just went away. Gotcha. Um, so you read Stack Overflow like everyone else. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, this wasn't on Stack Overflow. <laughs> this, was, this was on an, uh, an esoteric uh, group, mailing group, that our bottleneck finder dug up. Gotcha, gotcha.